Hello and welcome to Origins Plugin Review, our first plugin review ever. So let's begin, shall we? You might be wondering what is Origins Plugin? That's something that is familiar to me, and that's exactly what you might think it is. So if you ever played a mod pack with Origins, and what are Origins? Origins are like races you can pick at the start of the server then this plugin is basically that and as you can see it works both for bedrock and java edition and yeah as you can see this is their page it will be linked down below for the download and yeah as you can see there's a lot of stuff there's already included origins and if i'm not wrong there's like yeah Basic Human, Archonic, Avian, Blazeborn, Elytrian, Enderian, Feline, Merlink, Phantom, and Shulk. Well, Shulk. But yeah, that's that. So, let me just show you how to quickly install it, and let's jump into the server. So, how do you install it? You just go to your server folder, plugins, and you just drag and drop it, and start your server. Now, if you want to learn how to start up your own server or set up the files, I will link down below a video tutorial I made on how to do that. So, yeah, let's just continue and jump into the game and see what the Origins plugin does. And here we are inside of the game, so as you can see, our server started, and let's join the server. So, what is happening right now, as you can see, our resource pack has been downloaded, so this plugin uses resource pack. So, if you already have a resource pack that you use on your server, you will need to understand on how to merge two resource packs or even more, depends on what plugins you are using. So keep that in mind that you probably can use it without resource pack, but it will look ugly. So as you can see, this is what we are greeting with. We have a human, of course, avian, and so on and so on. And for example, some of them have abilities like spider guy, arcanid. And if you want to go down, you click arrow, as you can see, you have up, which does nothing because we can't go up. But we can go down and now we can go up and down and as you can see you can't scroll because it is using chess gui minecraft precary as we all know and as you can see you can see what the skills of well your origin are and yeah if you want for example let's pick i don't know let's see your natural as you can see blazeboard for example you will spawn in nether but you don't take damage from fire and yeah but let's pick something 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 like spider guy and we hit confirm and we spawned on a tree far away from our spawn okay and yeah as you can see we should be able to climb yep we can climb up so yeah cool stuff so for example, a bit better example, as you can see you hold down a space, I think. Yeah, you need to hold down a space and you can climb up. And it goes as long as you hold space and if you, well, let go of space, you can just hover on the side of the blocks, as you can see. So yeah, pretty amazing skill to have, I guess. But yeah, I won't go too deep into the plugin because, you know, the, like, the good thing about the plugins is that they let you explore the files. I will just show you what the plugin does and the rest of is up to you. So let me just quickly go over the configuration file. Well, show you the configuration file and yeah, let's move to the next screen. So as you can see, to get to your plugin folder configuration, you go to plugins and plugin name. So origins reborn and we are here. So let us stop our server as we can see because you never want to edit files while the server is live like never that's just bad practice to well do and so let's open configuration as you can see you have for example which worlds you are used in abilities then we have origin swap command which you can swap your origin and yeah, as you can see, it's enabled by default, so anyone can 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I see. So you need to have Origins Reborn admin command level permission for this to work. While operators can do it without any issues. And as you can see, you can make players go reset their whole profile, which we don't like because we want to keep the inventories of players and you can charge people. What I would do for this thing is enable the command and don't charge money for it, but instead use a plugin that you can create commands on items. And for example, I don't know, take like, for example, oh, we can go into server. Take like, let's say, Heart of the Sea item, rename it to something like, I don't know, Origin Changer or, you know, something like that. And when player uses it, it consumes the item and runs swap command so they get the GUI. And that's something I would do. And as you can see, you can randomize origin selection. Or you can randomize when the player dies, which is interesting. Then, as you can see, random option if you want. Exclude human. Well, I should. Well, human is excluded, but what if someone wants to be just human? Orb of origin. Oh, it's actually here, so you don't need to create a swap command. It's actually created here. So, as you can see, you can use this to let players change their origin. For example, you can add it to word crates and such, which is interesting setup if for example one player doesn't like their origin so we actually had the races on our server not that long ago and what i did so player upon of joining could pick one of nine preset races and if they felt like they didn't want to be the race they picked they had two options they could use one free kit uh, race change or they could get more orbs from, well, voting crates, which I think is fair balance. Or they could trade with other players if someone got them from vote crates. And as you can see, you have resource pack enabled. I wouldn't mess with this because if you want everything to look nice, this is what you leave... How do you call it? This is what you leave enabled. And you can see you can have prefixes if you want to, well, put, I guess... Yeah, in tab and on this planet with the name of origin, so it will show up, for example, human, I don't know, your name. And restrictions, you don't use anything of this, but yeah, this is how the configuration looks like. And then you have inventories, which is empty file. We have selected origins, which I guess shows someone's UUID and which origin they selected, so if you want to select or change someone's origin via configuration file, you can do it from here. And then you have used origins. Oh, as you can see what origins I picked. So I picked for Arcanic, then Phantom, then Skulk, then Phantom, then Human, 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 Avian, Human, and the last one, Arcanic. So yeah, or it goes reverse. And the last part in configuration file, you have origins, and as you can see, you can create your own origins or you can edit the already existing origins. But powers and all the stuff over here, if I'm not wrong, is packed into the plugin. So I wouldn't advise changing this unless you know what you are doing. Apart from that, as you can see, you can see which one has which powers. Probably you could change this, but again, I wouldn't mess with that because some plugins are best left on their own, without any changes. For example, like this plugin, which is coincidentally a first plugin we are reviewing, which, yeah. But as you can see, yeah, that was the Origins plugin. And, I don't know, let's wrap up the video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, it was our first plugin review. It was a quick review, it may not be the best review, but you get the general idea what the plugin does, how to download it, how to install it, where the configuration files are, and what do they do. And yeah, from now on the videos can only go further, we can improve on this concept. It was just a pilot video to see how things could be structured up, so if you have any suggestions, 
what could be changed or what you would like to see included in plugin reviews video, I'm all ears. It's not like I have any options because my thinking is limited in terms of that maybe I think this is good, but someone suggests something else which might be also good and we can find either middle ground or we can maybe include their suggestions in our videos. So again, I'm open to any suggestions you might have. But yeah, anyways, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something, enjoyed this video. Stay awesome and see you guys next time. Bye!